Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. It's all about Mornis. That's right. Hashtag Mornis Project. And we're joined by oh. Sil Sebastian Venusid, the dynamic duo that is helping us conquer life and coaching us through to, you know, give us and help us live that best life possible. So first and foremost, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, starting off with Sil Sebastian, tell us a little about yourself and then let's introduce Venusid back into the mix. Oh. Brilliant, brilliant. Good morning, good morning, Jill. It's good wonderful morning. to be here. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Mornus Culture. Yes. That's what yes. we share. Uh, Bean and I, this is what we do day in and day out. We share Mornus Culture. Of course, we, we make every effort to live in Mornus Culture also. Yes. And that's what we do between the two of us. Right, Bina? Exactly, exactly. Right. This is what we do every single day. At least this is what yeah. I just try to do that. And I always call myself, I'm a privileged one to have his company. And of course, uh, I get a chance and a privilege oh, to get all these things just first and experience with him. This is so anomalous. Uh, it is actually living my dream life. So thank you so much yes. sir, for being here. Yes. And thank you so much, Jill. You're a wonderful host. You have a very present and, of course, very positive personality. Well, really thank like you. It. It's always great wonderful to work energy. with amazing people. Nobilia.org yes. is the website. Go to That's their it. Facebook That's page. It. Very easy. We're going to talk Everything about his book, about the way of impeccability yes. and moreness. Yes. Where do we start yes. today? Go ahead. Uh, so, so in, in terms of you mentioned way of impeccability, and that's mm -hmm. how that's how Bina and I first met, met each other. Way yes. of impeccability is a life change and a self change program. It, it's very comprehensive. It's very complete. It's a minimum of four months. It usually takes a year because you are truly looking to change everything about yourself. And that's how Bina came into picture. When I first was putting it together, I, I asked on Facebook, I said, hey, I'm looking for beta testers. Well, post beta testers, because it was kind exactly. of already there, it was almost ready. So that's what I called it, post beta testers. And, and Bina said, okay, you know, I'd like to do this. And anyway, yes. so it was, it was, it's a long story. So that's, that's where Bina started. That's where Bina came. And so then Bina did wave of impeccability and really just immersed into it and absorbed it completely and utterly. And just, I was just, and I said to Bina, you know, mm -hmm. if you want, you can just come all the time. You don't have to just come it's yeah. a, it's set up to you come twice a week, you come on zoom for two hours at a time. I said, just, just come whenever you want to, because like, you know, you share my passion for the learning and the growing and, and, and Bina, <laughs> What happened then? I took it. I took it literally, literally, because I call myself I I'm a big opportunist, and I really yeah. encourage people to have to be an opportunist. Yeah. Why not? Uh -huh. When the universe is actually yeah. just providing you some opportunity, why yeah. you will not grab it? So be be appropriate and grab it. And I just grab it with like with my teeth and claws, and I said, okay, I really, really, <laughs> I appreciate myself that I did, because it really changes my life. Yeah. So this yeah. is something a very profound, very profound happened. Yeah. Before yeah. we start, and still we'll go into detail. Uh, I was asking you again uh, yes, uh, last time when we were on the on this podcast with Jill, that what are the impacts, what are the benefits of doing way of impactability? I please, uh, I really want you to continue because wow. I know that because way of impactability is so huge, so profound. You can talk about it, of course, for like years. We are continuously discussing and improving <laughs> right, and all right. that. And yeah, it's a living program. It, it evolves. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. But the benefits for the, of course, like uh, like myself, average people, what are the benefits of wave impactability? What are Great the impacts? Question, yeah. In which area of life it is yeah. going to really benefit someone who is keen to do? And before we go, Jill, just want to say that because in the in the beginning, Jill mentioned something very interesting. She says that, okay, to conquer life. Yes. I have seen and experienced that, that in way of impeccability, we not only conquer, we actually create a new life. There you and go. I'm not saying in words only yeah. because I there have created my own life. I Correct. was a computer analyst in my past and I was doing nothing for two years, more than two years, mm -hmm. and I was doing nothing. I was completely in dark, completely lost full of resentments against something happened in my life. And I was holding on Big traumatic as my event. identity. Yeah. Oh, yes. I was holding my badge of being a victim of something horrible. And I was holding <laughs> on it. 
but oh. really i have created my life and that's why we have a very wonderful it's story great. of sophie yeah. and the philosopher and the sophie the sophisticated yeah. so we call it this is the story real life story of me i was sitting in pakistan yeah. in my room yeah. not going out for 2 years doing nothing and i had no idea what i'm going to do with my life and and from that scratch i actually came out and because of way of impactability and him i really created a new life for myself so i can say it that it is actually creating a new life right so, so now yes, you please. ask right what yes. is it it's not just a new life but it is yes. the life that you really want and in yes. not necessarily externally mm-hmm. but it starts with the internal so it is connecting to yeah. who who you really mm-hmm. are not just exactly. who you really wish to be exactly. because when you ask people if you really start to get into people a little bit more right jill if i say to you jill is goodness important to you what do you say yes is integrity exactly. important like, yeah. to you yes absolutely well, uh, is the ability to have and be uh, and act with integrity is that important to you yes it is it's not just integrity or oh, i've already said integrity is important but what about the ability to act with integrity or yeah, the ability it's... to act with impeccability mm-hmm. the ability to act with sobriety sensibility the ability yes. to be discerning True. to have the quality of the sunment the sunment is so crucial because we go through life and we just tap the surface bina just was we were chatting when we came on earlier this morning we come on zoom with each other every day right so i yes. said bina you know, what have you been thinking about and bina said i've been thinking about queuing now queuing as you know being in media right you get a queue from your producer and you queue with the with the introduction uh, exactly yes. right but life queues us all the time oh, and we yes. queue ourselves we are queued by circumstance we are queued by events that's now a, a very strong queuing would be triggering right i mean that's wow. like but but queuing is much more subtle at least in terms of way of impeccability and this is a term from our dictionary of power so it's capital c queuing to imp- to imply that yes it's based on the the usual queuing like you know you have queuing in yeah. in, in the arts in theater and in media but queuing in life if somebody comes in to you know like if i come on to the show and i'm all grumpy and um, you may not say anything but i'm queuing you in a sense yeah. that well i'm in a bad mood right uh, so that's that's a very subtle queuing but it can go a lot further than that because we can queue via our expectations via our assumptions via our beliefs via our motivations via our intents so many things that queue us and we just respond if you look at most people in terms of how they relate right they are have been queued by the entire culture that they in right? and this wow. is why we are talking about monas culture because we don't even realize it but we queued in terms of the hierarchy of of, mm-hmm. of the superiority com- uh, uh, paradigm so right. always we're looking at and look how you said to conquer life that's completely a superiority paradigm thing conquering right dominating i mean i understand how you mean it but look how the yeah, word please. is True. so subtle True. because if i'm conquering uh, by implication uh, somebody's getting dominated something yeah yeah i don't less. i don't like that yeah Right, you see exactly, but now you didn't mean it in that way, <laughs> but, but you just used the word because it's yeah. a cued word from our culture, right? So you are cued yes. by the culture to use that. Yeah. And it's it's meant positively. But if we rather say, "Hey, I'm looking to to connect to my moreness. I'm looking to share moreness. I'm looking to collaborate." Now it's a whole other cueing because now I'm implying that, you know, I want to do things with people, not to people. Yes. Interesting. Yes. Right. right. Yes. So now this is part of wave impeccability and monas comes. But just to start, the monas comes a little bit later. Just to start in wave impeccability, it is simply a mechanism for refining and honing and connecting to and practicing and developing skills, abilities, and competencies of your character. Character. 
Yeah. Personality, right. that's easy to acquire, right? I mean, we have multiple personalities. We act one way with, with children, we are another way with old people, and uh, sometimes we act differently with men and women. I try not to. I treat them all as people. Mm -hmm. But you see my point. We, 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 we have different personalities, well, different times. I'm in a good mood, and I'm the life of the party, and the other day I'm very sober and serious and collected and thoughtful, whatever. But that's personality. Now, personality and character are two different things. And, and it's very important to understand this decision. It is absolutely critical. Personalities like your clothes, you wear as appropriate, right? And sometimes you wear something ridiculous, and other times, like Bina, you wear something very smart and wonderful, and and you know more more sober. It's quite wonderful. I look great, Bina, and Jill always looks good, right? But that that that's personality. Your character is that which is in you, which stays the same. It is, a, it is what is connected to your conscience. It is real, real, true you. Yes? When we strip off all of supposed to, and we get to, and should, then we get to real us. Right? How much of our behavior is cued by supposed to, and should, and must be? Yeah? Much. Yeah. Almost all of our behavior. We don't even realize it. We hear these things all the time. Oh, I said, watch on TV. You know, something happens. Oh, you must have been so devastated. Yeah. No, it's an accident. It's not devastating. Stuff happens in life. You know, why must I be devastated when it's an accident? You know, stuff happens, right? And that's important. So that also brings that word stuff, right? I can say another word for it that starts with an S, but we'll, we'll be PG, right? Uh, right in life, so stuff happens. Right, I'm, I'm huh. saying this now. You said, "What is it that Bina?" You asked the question. What is it that people get out of doing something like wave impeccability? Well, there's nothing yes. really like wave impeccability. Nothing else like it. We have many, many, many things in wave impeccability which are, which are paradigm shifting, uh, which are disruptive technologies in the field exactly. that, we're in, that are very different. Right, but what do you get out of it? The, yeah. the, the end, the, the, just in a very simple way, you learn how to get your stuff together. Or you can use that other S word if you like, <laughs> which some people <laughs> yeah. typically say more. Right? That's very important. How many times have you heard, ah, you know what, I really need to get myself together. I want my S together, right? Uh, they say this on a regular basis, but they don't quite ever get around to doing so. Yeah. How many of us have said this? We've said it over and over and over again. Uh, you know, and then we sort of more or less, but we know we don't really have it. We don't really, we, we just, we're just kind of faking it as we go along, hoping it's going to make it. But we don't deal with the real issue, which is us. We deal with our careers and our children and, and our status and our success and wealth and all of the stuff. We don't deal with real me. We don't deal with real me. That's the critical, critical point. If you aren't in alignment with your conscience, if you're not in alignment with who you truly wish to be, then everything is going to be diminished. And yes, you may, you may have that momentum, that motivation of pursuing all of your external things. But as we all know, midlife comes and we end up with midlife crisis, right? How many yes. times have you not seen midlife crisis? Now, what exactly mm -hmm. is midlife crisis? <laughs> oh, gosh, there's a lot of them, right? What would you say? <laughs> right. right, exactly. But in essence, it is when you have gotten what you thought you wanted, and then you come to realize, mm, well, okay. this is not doing it for me. This isn't cutting it. Yeah? Isn't yes. that what midlife crisis is? Because yeah. what you've pursued isn't truly rewarding. Only, only when you connect to your real deep self and you are able to get your stuff together and you are in command of yourself, you own yourself, you like who you are, mm -hmm. then it makes absolutely not one tiny little iota of difference what it is that you are doing externally. Wow. Totally powerful, relevant. powerful stuff. Exactly. Got me exactly thinking Vina. here today. I just... Go ahead. Sorry, please continue. No, no, so, no. Say again, Jill, I, I didn't hear what you said. You said something. Oh, no, you today. got me enthralled. This is like deep conversation. This is uh, good right. stuff. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. This is what we do. This I is know. what we do. I we do. go not just deep, but we go all the way. Yeah. We go yes. to the very, very heart of things, to the mm -hmm. bottom, to the end. Right. 
Go ahead, Bina. Just, just, ahead. just, just want more, uh, a bit more uh, uh, clarification on that. That understanding who you really, truly are doesn't mean that you, what you are doing right now, or what you have already achieved, or what you have already pursued, is going to be a completely different thing. Because this is the mostly yeah. idea yeah. I have seen that. Okay, yeah. when we say that, no, okay, just, just connect yeah. with yourself, with your character. People assume that okay, now what I was doing throughout my life, like for decades like my business or my job or my career, anything. They assume that, that I have to give up on this. No, no. no. Good point, Pina. No, Very you don't point. need to. So this is a clarification. Not, not I, I really wish that, okay, uh, it, is, it has to be very clear. Please. Fine. So here's the key, right? Way of impeccability. It's not a belief system. I, I, I need to emphasize this absolutely clearly, right? And no belief required. This is absolutely important. Everything is based on self Evident sensibilities. Mm -hmm. That's it. Self-evident sensibility. It's self-evident. It's like duh, in other words. That's what we strive for. Duh is in our dictionary of power. Uh, Very yeah. powerful. That's what I'm that's what I'm hoping for. I'm sharing. Mm -hmm. And then the participant is like, oh, oh. wait. And, and and you can see all the it's gears. Like, wait, what's that? You can hear what? those little little clicking <laughs> sounds of everything falling that... into place, right? Yeah, I heard some it sounds takes a little while. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. And then they're what like, did you do? Uh, Holy crikey, Moses! Wow, like wow. Okay, all right. I I I get you now. Oh yeah, you know. But I, I it's so obvious. It's so duh. But so duh. I never thought of it. I I I. I and then they feel a bit bad, <laughs> and then you can see their faces. They're like, what? But, but I, I never thought of it before. I said, well, yes. And then I always say this. That's our job. Be and I as facilitators. This our job is to make the obvious obvious. Why? Because the obvious is not obvious until it is obvious. It wasn't obvious that moment before it became obvious. It was not obvious. So don't feel bad. Is what it is, right? And that's the point that we're looking for. Because when it's a duh, when it is so gloriously, overwhelmingly, just thrillingly, fantastically obvious, that means you get it. Yeah? It's not always so. Uh, sure, who maybe I'll bring on as a guest at some point too. Uh, also a participant of Wave Impeccability, who's now a life coach. And, and you know, she started uh, from a real deep point, like as bad as you can go, right? And, and her life completely changed as well. And, and she can talk about this when she comes. It's very powerful stuff. But she will tell you that when you, when, when, when we first, she actually met her, you know, she, uh, Bina and I have never met in person, even though she's a bestie, right, Bina? <laughs> yes. Oh. yes. I'm just living in uh, so the other thing. part of the world, really. <laughs> yeah. And how did, this, how did actually, the two of you I meet? Did, well, via way of impeccability, was, Bina came as the beta tester and just never left. I just left, saw an so, ad you know. on my Facebook. I don't know. We were not friends. I just somehow, uh, his ad uh, on Facebook just came that, okay, yeah, we are looking for post credit. I had no idea what philosophy is because I was a computer system analyst uh, and also that okay, I was assisting uh, at Arts Council by Karachi. I was assisting uh, the director there. So th that was my life and I had no idea what philosophy oh. is. But somehow I just said, okay, yeah, because that was the day my job was ended. And I said, okay, so let's Something give more. it a try. Something and more. the first meeting was three hours. Everything was doing <laughs> from here and there. And there. <laughs> well, we spent three hours. Oh my gosh. being patient. Or at least wow. I did. And, and most because of the things literally just... flowing over one mile. But right. but there was but the connection issues. No, no, not only the connection <laughs> issue, but also the understanding issues. And of course, a lot of that yeah. stuff was new for me. But one thing was very obvious that what he's saying is somehow making sense and connecting already existing idea. Mm -hmm. They were just randomly yeah. put together and yeah. it was, they were not connecting to each other. I, yeah. because like everyone else, I was reading a lot of memes on uh, internet and of yeah. course like, oh, yes, yeah. this is motivation. This is good. This is positive. But ne everything was independently just sitting yeah. in my mind, not yeah. working together for me. And what we have been back up to did, it actually just made vital connections to everything. And now everything was like sparkling. And it was like, oh my God, now they are working for me. Now every what? motivational meme is working for me. I know yeah. how to actually incorporate this in my life. 
And someone asked me that, okay, what do you get out of it? The first benefit of doing wave film activity was having a piece of being. Yes. Really, yes. Really, yes. really. So this is how you know, it's a big story. Yeah, piece of being, very <laughs> crucial. And, you know, another participant came, somebody who, who, you know, saw what we're doing and they came on Zoom just to find out more and all that. And and they asked Bina, Bina, as a as a participant who's now done way of impeccability, what, what what did you get out of it? And Bina said piece of being. I said, Oh, I want that. Sign me up. Uh-huh. <laughs> that, that was like, like that. duh, right there. <laughs> very fun. But I want to add about how we got together first. That very, very first Zoom call was Bina being apologetic and awkward and feeling bad and uncomfortable. Why? Because her connection kept on dropping. Dropping, dropping, yes. dropping. It was just, uh, but it was the universe. It was attunement. Why? Because for three hours, Bina saw me actually being patient. Wow. She saw real patience yes. in action. In other words, I'm not just talking about stuff. I love what I share, right? And that's very important. Uh, so I was about to throw my laptop out of window because yeah, it was yeah. so irritating. But he was Made a big smiling. impact on Bina. Yeah. And then he was just smiling and keep continuing where we left. <laughs> Again, coming back to the same point, continue. And I was amazed by the patience, the level of patience yeah. and level of discernment and care. Yeah. How a yeah. person can just sit for three hours joy. just for you? Yes, of yeah. course. Of course. Yeah. Well, so you know, uh, right. Everybody has mourners to them. And, and, and we a part of way of impeccability is, like I said, it's training our ability to be discerning, yes? And, and to pay attention and to be able to have awareness, like you know, Jill, in your job. Like now, see, I glance at the clock there. We have to be aware of the, <laughs> of the, of the overview, right? And, and time is Always, a very important yes. overview. Always, right? Yeah, and, yeah. And, but Can we want present. to see life also, not just to have a time awareness, but to have an intent awareness. If you get caught up in your daily thing, your immediate stuff, oh, I've, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, but you forget your overview, which your overview, hey, I want to work on my patience. I want to work on being more impeccable. I mm -hmm. want to work on having more discernment. I want to work on expanding my and enhancing my awareness. I want to work on mood management. I want to, oh, wow, mood. yes, that's part of way of impeccability, where you learn to choose your mood. Holy moly, yes. I want, but I, I, you can forget. So you have to keep that overview to say, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? And connect to your bigger picture. What am I doing? Not just the immediate now. What am I doing? If you want to teach your children something really, really valuable, get them into this habit of asking, what am I doing? And asking it in all contexts, not just what am I doing? Yes, I'm drawing a picture. Yes, but also I'm, I'm training my art skills. I'm training my ability to be creative, to be thoughtful, to experiment, to do things, whatever it is, right? When they, when they realize there are layers to what you are doing, change their whole lives, right? Yes. You get that multiple perspective shift. And, and how to do that, the this is the answer way of impeccability actually provides. How to exactly, exactly. And one of the objectives of mm -hmm. way of impeccability is to get you to be where you are in such a position that yes. death is no longer a stressful issue. Yes. yes. Yeah. And for a water break, point. right, Bina? Right. <laughs> That's no problem. So this is a big point, right? Because yeah. most of us are afraid of death. Why? Because we don't have our stuff together. We don't have peace of being. When you have peace of being, death no longer becomes an issue. You've dealt with the issue of death in your life. Most people do not, right? And that's midlife crisis. You, you, you start to get closer and you start to think and like, uh, I'm not ready. Uh, there's a bit of panic, right? And sometimes people aren't even aware of what it is that's stressing them. And that's the other point. With wave of impeccability, we're enhancing our ability to be aware through discernment, through understanding. And most crucially, it is about practicality. Every single thing that you do in wave of impeccability is geared towards application, application, yeah. application. So, you know, yes, uh, technically I'm a philosopher. Technically, I'm also a psychologist. Right. I know mm -hmm. this is a new term, but it's very valid. Somebody who creates a, a, a psychology yeah. system has done that. But it's all about practicality. And for me, I, I'm not interested in theoretical stuff. 
That's why when I wrote out what I what I wrote a whole book series, but it's a it's a novel, it's a story, because I wanted to demonstrate all of this the A plus philosophy, the philosophy of appropriateness, wave impeccability, capital H sharing, all of it. I wanted to show it, not just talk about it and write the yeah. treatise, write the nah, that's boring stuff, right? So it's about practicality. So you know, I would say I'm a practical philosopher, yes. But you know, I'd rather say I'm an applier, yes, I'm a doer. That's more important because otherwise it's all meaningless without application. Absolutely. All meaningless, absolutely, absolutely meaningless. So wonderful. Uh, do we have? Are, are we on time? Go yes. ahead, uh, yes. again. Yes, I was just saying that uh, one of the perks of uh, doing way of impeccability and monas program is to going to bed every single day instead of accountability in appreciation. This is a go. big, huge change in my life. When you, you when you go to go. bed, instead of just like, okay, oh, I have to do that. And of course, tomorrow I'm going to take care of all these things. But you will learn to live with attunement. And then the, the day will end with the appreciation instead of accountability. Yes. Like. And start. <laughs> and start. We live in appreciation. When we shift to living in appreciation, this is an incredible skill and ability and a competency, a life competency that we acquire. Yeah. How many yes. people do you know that truly live in appreciation? Yeah. Other than I assume yes. that you do. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Joel, Joel, Joel is quite wonderful in, in yes. being in appreciation. That's where your high energy comes from. Right. I yeah. do. I do have high yeah. appreciation for life, for people. You know, exactly. there's stress in life. There's and too much. Saying, I want exactly. more. I want to live my best life. And as a mom exactly. of two kids, exactly. I want even better life. Exactly. And they go back to school tomorrow. So I'm feeling really good. <laughs> yeah. Ah, brilliant. 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 Morness <laughs> in Morning. the Galea yes. household. Exactly. Yes. yes. Exactly. Okay. Bye -bye. So we are in the time. Yes. Well, hold yeah. on. Okay. We're not saying goodbye yet. You got to tell us how oh, we can uh, contact you. Go ahead. Nobelia.org <laughs> slash connect. Very Love simple. It. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. And, yes. and also you can join him on Facebook also. Yes. The uh, Facebook yes. group. Because we have a huge group, Sassy. Yeah. You can come, just join that group and you will see that. Okay. Every day we are doing live together. Yeah. And of course, we are doing the capital R reading of different books. So Beautiful. right now yes. we are doing yes. and yes, that's we are involved in a very huge project of yeah. Yes, please. And that Sassy is S A S I. Awesome. Yes. So Thank you. Sassy group. Yeah. So Thank much. You. Bye -bye. Thank Love you so speaking much. with you all. Fun. Enjoy your week and make it the best week ever until next week. Yes. We'll talk. Bye yes. bye. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network.